out. And if you're looking to spruce up your home with some new art, you may be able to save some money by creating your own wall painting. There you go, the style exactly the way you want it. Joining us live this morning, DIY expert extraordinaire Shannon Quimby to show us how to upcycle some old canvas and create something new. Shannon, I love this idea. Yeah, isn't it fun? Very yes. fun and super yeah. cute. I know. So what I what you do is you get <clears throat> basically some old. If you have like an old canvas art, my son um, was big on that, and so he wants to change up his room. I don't know about you, Jenny, with the girls. Uh, all the time, <laughs> every every month or so. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> this is like a lovely piece of artwork. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's get rid of that. So as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of paint here. Um, this project took, I think it was one, two, three, four, five, six, like eight colors. Okay. So you can choose any type of pattern, but the first thing you want to do is just get rid of this. <laughs> and is that easy? Like if there's like texture in the paint or anything, is it bumpy? It, you know, good point. Yeah, sometimes, you know, if it has that, those little, it rises. Yeah, yeah it, it'll, it'll show if you rub your hand across it. But if you use more of a flat sheen, say mm -hmm. a flat sheen or a satin, um, it's not going to show. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. The higher the, the higher the sheen, the more the more um, textures and imperfections you'll see. Okay. Good. Good okay. tip there. I know that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll set that down. Then next up is you just want to get some painters tape and a ruler, and you're going to start making your pattern. So here's one, it's all dry, okay, got it? There we go. Yeah, and I just basically, I put it into four squares. Now, once again, this is really cool, um, this project, there is no, like, um, you have to do it this way in a pattern. I love the creativity that my son has used. He's just done any type of pattern he's want to. But for this one, we did four squares, and then basically, you're just going to make a smaller square in a square. And mm -hmm. you're just gonna put it at an angle. So just take your tape. Now if you want to, um, I, I also I always just kind of um, do it on the fly. Mm -hmm. Just kind of eyeball it. But you can take a ruler and at the top start going, okay, from the corner, I'm gonna go one inch and go all the way around like that. Oh, yeah, make some okay. lines. Yeah, if you really want to get yeah. precise, I would probably. Mine do would that. be all like lopsided. I no, think. No, I would. If, I would yeah. be sitting there with the ruler doing math. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know what? And that's fantastic. If you if you're like worried about that, you can change it up, and it can be very geometric. Yes. Yeah. Emily is oh, a control cool. enthusiast. Well, that's, I just, so I yeah, see... I know that I would notice it every day, <laughs> every time I walk by. That my one triangle was different. So, so I like the measuring tip. Okay. And so then once you tape it, what what it's do you do from there? It's a project that works for everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now see what I got going here. Oh, very nice. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like it. And then how do you know it's not like I found I have problems with tape bleeding with the paint bleeding. Is there a better tape than others? You know, <clears throat> the blue tape works really well. The green tape, it's called the frog tape. Yep. Yep. Do you notice the green tape, it comes in a container? Yep. yep. You want to keep it in the container because it has, it carries a lot of moisture. So I like to put my tape in a Ziploc bag, keeps the moisture in because the moisture of the tape then absorbs the crevices. I did not know oh, this. Oh, okay. that's why it works so well. Okay. Learning so many things. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. So um, then you just take your colors. I started, so um, Emily, this would probably be more something that you would follow through is starting with the darker colors and going out to the lighter colors. Yes, love that. Okay. <laughs> I like how she knows you so well, too. <laughs> I'd be I like, need. whatever. This is what I need. <laughs> now, these are all just color samplers that I've had that I got at Miller Paint because Miller Paint's still doing free color samplers on oh, Saturdays. Nice. So crazy. I know. So big, too. It's I know. Nuts. And so um, you can just go in. So these are left over from a whole bunch of other projects, the, um, bigger, bigger projects that I've used. So anyway, so as you can see, guys, I'm just going around. It usually takes two coats. Okay. 
Okay. And Shannon, we're running out of time, so I don't know if there's a way to like speedy, speedily show us. Yes. Or... So then you just peel the tape off, and then you just take your small brush, Jenny. Mm -hmm. And so if you dab it, and then you just make the lines, and you just make it sharper with this with the white paint. Oh, gotcha. Uh, okay. If the paint okay. got pulled up, if anywhere. it got pulled through, yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I got. I know. I have some like wrapped canvases from like. TJ Maxx that I got when I first lived on my own yeah. and I felt like I needed to be an adult and have artwork and now I don't like them. And now so you're looking at them going, they look like they're from them. TJ Maxx. Yeah. yeah. Not that yeah, there's I anything wrong with TJ Maxx, great. but yes. No. <laughs> okay. no. It's not. So, but it's a, it's a great project. It's, it's affordable. You can get it. Like I got this, that canvas at Goodwill. Goodwill's open back up in some yep. locations. It is Wait, awesome. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you, you so Shannon. Much, Shannon. I know. Yeah. I love it. Okay. We'll see you next week. I can't wait to see what you come up with next. And of course, if you want to check out the uh, canvas, we've got the full list of instructions and materials on coin.com.